I'm going to show you what I do for um, Angora fiber. I shared a couple bunnies yesterday and sometimes, bunnies are very clean, but um, well, you, you only keep the clean part. They may have a little something around their bum if they're fibery. I didn't want to let these bunnies get much longer. Some of it's short, but um, I thought one might have bread, so I didn't want her to have too long a fiber when she was going to deliver. So she's in the house. But I want to show you what I do. What I do, because some of the fiber is a little bit shorter, I toss my fiber around. I do not keep it in the plucked or um, sheared original condition as far as staying um, fibers aligned. I know lots of people like that. I don't. I think it's because it is such a soft, slicky fabric, fiber, I don't think it um, is as enjoyable to work with. I like it to grip to itself. So what I do is I fluff it up, I spray it with hair gel. This isn't a particularly potent hair gel, it's just one I found I don't use much. Anything will work, and then I fluff some more. What this does, and I haven't tried it with other, well, I've tried it with alpaca. It works nicely with alpaca, but I like it best for Angora because it could be so flyaway. Then I fluff it some more. And what the hair gel does is causes a little bit of the fibers to grip to themselves, stick to themselves a little bit better and to my hand, but um, that, that will subside soon. So that to me is a very enjoyable way to spin Angora fiber. Then I can go ahead and draft, um, and it wants to grip to itself a little bit better. Let me see if I can move closer to the camera. Someday, instead of spinning all day, or playing with my critters all day, or babysitting all day, I will <laughs> get a better camera set up, or do it better for you. Okay, so I got this, and it's kind of sticky. I mean, it is it is sticky. Not static electricity sticky, like like and fibers tend to be, or in gore fibers and silks tend to be. Um, let's see, what's this resting on? Something is gripping this because it's not spinning as happily as it was before. Um, let's see, the wheel is gripping on something. What, what do we got it gripping on? Okay, there we go. It might have been one particular fi single fiber. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just, now that I have this fluff, I'm just going to pull and draft out from it. And the hair gel is just really, really nice. You can do it with water, but then it doesn't give the stickiness to it. This is especially nice if my fibers are a little bit shorter, like this one is. But really, I just like that it makes it stick to itself. It's kind of... Um, Uh, cheat, <laughs> I guess. It's kind of like, you know, some because of the scales in on wool, wool has a tendency to stick to itself, and it's just a nice, um, mindless draft. You don't have to worry so much, of, but unless you have your tension too tight, you don't have to worry about the fiber slipping out of your hand as readily. And that's what this does for Angora. It just, it just sort of controls the fiber. A lot of people will put a small amount of mineral oil or baby oil or any kind of oil really because you're going to be washing your, your yarn um, on their spray on their fleeces to prevent static electricity but here static electricity isn't what's bothering me and I wouldn't want to do this prior to carding anything because I wouldn't want my teeth gunked up but I really like what the hair gel does to um, Angora fiber. It's, yeah, I just, I like, I like the way it, it grips a little bit better. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I will, I, you know, if I was 
more vain, <laughs> more vain, any vain. If I had any pride whatsoever, I would do my nails and whatnot. See, I shared the bunny yesterday. Let's see where I could get, where's the light? Okay. And I saw blood all of a sudden. I thought, oh no, I got my bunny. And then I realized, no, it's me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just kicked a little bit. Uh, I don't put my bunnies on the table. I just have them on my lap. And so I think I was doing his, or her, nails. And she kicked a little bit and got me. But it was it was a relief to know it was my blood instead of hers. Okay, so there we go. That is, um, let me get better angle. This is, it just, I jumbled, like I said, I jumbled the fiber up. And of course, because the tendency when things draft, if you don't have it in a roll lag or spinning off your finger, which I can do here, um, it's a little bit of a, you know, it drafts in a worsted-ish manner. So that's part two, why the reason the gel helps so much. Let's see, if I want to do it jumbled but off my finger so that maybe I get a do that don't you, you know, that just I just love angora fiber off my finger out there bend it over my finger it's um there we go same principle just now it's got a little bit of a band so maybe it'll have a little bit more air to it and that traps the fibers on itself too but um causes a little more loft but the spray gel really is the secret to a little bit less stressful I guess <laughs> um, and Gora spinning there you go hope you like seeing that I'll, um, do you like close-ups of bunny fiber? Do you want a close-up of a bunny? I could do that too. This is the hair gel that I use. It's get light. It's called Diva Curl, and I would never spend that much on bunny. I, you could go to the dollar store and get something that will work fine because you're going to wash it out. But I happen to have it. Um, I spin in my bathroom. <laughs> oh, dear. I, just, I spin a lot in my bathroom because it's a big bathroom and it's got a tile floor and my grandkids um, don't come in here as often and one of my granddaughters has some allergies so I um, yeah I usually spin my angora in here and I fill my bathtub <laughs> I fill my bathtub in my um, bathroom how shocking is that anyways it also keeps me from letting the bathtub overflow have you ever any of you get um, to doing something else while you start to fill your bathtub here's a short spot and I'll just pull that out it could have been left in as a novelty lump but I opted not to um, anyways I start to fill the tub and I think oh well it feels I'll go do something else and then I forget that it's feeling. <laughs> ah, not good. Anyway, so I put it. I ended up putting a wheel by my tub, so that I can spin while it's filling, and that way I'm not tempted to leave and do something and then flood the bathroom. Um, there you go. Yeah, the spray gel. If you haven't go a rabbit. Or any like real flyaway fiber, it works for alpaca too. Don't forget, you're gonna be you're gonna be. It's all it's 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 effective when you spin from the cloud because you want to incorporate it through um, the majority of the fiber. I I think it would be sort of useless on roving or top. Um, or anyways, commercially prepared fibers would be useless because they're pretty compacted from shipping and sitting in warehouses or showrooms and all that kind of thing. Well, there you go. I'll show you the finished yarn. I'll go ahead and finish that this up bobbin up today. Well, I just started this bobbin. 
Maybe I'll finish that up today and show you the very adorable fluffy yarn. Does that sound vain when I say that about my yarn? But I get to say that because I didn't grow it. I It's my rabbit. <laughs> I love my bunnies. I really love bunnies. If I ever had to get rid of all my sheep due to moving or anything, I would always have Angora rabbits because not only are they a fiber source, they're just so darn cute. Um, I have about 20. I really like bunnies. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I don't show them. I, they don't, it's not like I'm like breeding for the best of the best. I breed the characteristics that I like to get. I just really like bunnies. And when I can find a home for a bunny, I go ahead and gift a bunny because that means if I have it, um, my bunny supply is lessening, I can have new bunnies. Part of the problem is, is that sometimes they breed without me knowing it because um, someone left the cage open, bunnies got out, and now they have free access to each other and baby bunnies in 29 days. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, I hope that helped. Yeah, the jumble it up. If you want to try this, um, you, could, you could pay less for Angora Fiber which is a good thing. You could pay less for it and jumble it up and then you don't have to worry about whether it was all laid nicely between paper towels and whatnot for your spinning pleasure. Spray a little hair gel on it and you've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, fiber that is now a little bit grippier so that you can have a little easier spinning. There you go. Bye-bye. Oh, what did I want to show you? <laughs> oh, let me see if I can do this. What is it? Does this show? Anyways, this is what I do with my spindle. I take things off my spindles, throw a ball in this jar. It's a crock, so it's heavy. And then um, when I'm done, well, you know, when I've got a bunch, anyways, then I start plying things together. And because I don't know what was ever on these spindles, these are ones I'm going to dye and so it won't look like my dye lot changed it'll with a white yarn for whatever or it won't look like one sheep peed on himself and the other did not because some sheep are just yellower than others then I'll dye it and then I'll come up with my um irregular dyed yarns which I like a lot as opposed to just a solid one solid color okay bye bye